What's going on everybody, Johnny Bannon here with Trepid Technologies and in today's tech talk, we're gonna be talking about encryption, specifically symmetric versus asymmetric encryption. So let's get started. So with symmetric encryption, we have a single shared or private key that we use between sender and receiver to encrypt all of our data. So what's the pros with this? Well, with symmetric encryption, we can encrypt large amounts of data with less computational overhead, but we don't have secure key exchange. So if someone compromises that key, there goes our encryption. We're no longer safe. So what's the solution for that? Well, that's where asymmetry comes in. With asymmetric cryptography or encryption algorithms, we have a public key and a private key that are mathematically related. Meaning with what you encrypt with one, you decrypt with the other. And public and private, that's arbitrary. That's what you decide when those public and private key pairs are made. So using asymmetric cryptography, like Diffie-Hellman, like the Kerr cryptography, we can establish secure connections and then using a sender's private and a receiver's public key, and a receiver's private and the sender's public key, we can create a new shared secret key to do symmetric encryption between sender and receiver. This is how PKI works, this is how HTTPS connections work, by using asymmetric to create that symmetric shared key. If you want to learn more, click that link in the bio and check out our encryption video for our new Security Plus videos.